Welcome back to Backyard Texas Barbecue. Today I am making healthy grilled chicken. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Kristen and every weekend I share a barbecue recipe with you guys. So today I'm sharing a healthy grilled chicken. So lots of times when you're eating barbecue, it's not the healthiest things from big cheesy burgers to brats to pork roast. They're not exactly the healthiest and it's not good to eat these things all the time. But I do love using my grill and cooking outside. So today I'm showing you how to make some healthy grilled chicken and then also a really healthy side dish that goes along with it. So my secret to this recipe is Frank's hot sauce. Now if you don't like this spice, just use a little bit and mix it all around. But if you don't mind the heat, go ahead and just pour it on like I do. So one thing I love about this is that no calories, no carbs, it's mostly just the spices and a little bit of salt. Maybe instead of your normal barbecue, try some hot sauce with some chicken and it's delicious. So today I'm going to start off in the kitchen. We're going to get the chicken ready and also the zucchini ready and they're going to cook at the same time. So if you're ready, let's get cooking. So I'm starting with some large chicken breasts. Now these are actually really large. I don't need them that big. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off any extra fat pieces and then I'm going to cut the chicken right in half. This way it will cook more evenly and it will cook a whole lot faster. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick all the chicken in a Ziploc bag so I can let it marinate for anywhere from 30 minutes to up to eight to 10 hours. But today I just did it for the 30 minutes because I don't want it super hot so my kids will eat it. So I'm putting in Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce. It's made out of cayenne pepper, there's some vinegar, salt and pepper, and that's about it. So there's no calories, there's no fat, the only thing it has is a little bit of sodium and it's mostly just the spices. So if you're looking to be a little bit healthier, this is a perfect alternative. All right, so I'm gonna zip up my Ziploc bag and just kind of mix it all around so the marinade or the hot sauce will go on all the pieces of chicken. Now, if you have one piece of chicken or two pieces of chicken, just don't add as much hot sauce. All right, when you're all done, I'm just gonna let this sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Decided I'm gonna show you how to make a healthy side dish too. So I just cut up five zucchinis into bite-sized pieces. So one, it will be easier to cook, and two, it will be easier to eat. Now in my last video, I made some tri-tip and I made this homemade steak rub. The good thing about this rub is that it's delicious on vegetables too. So I'm just gonna dump it all over the vegetables and then mix them all together and cook it in the oven. Now you can cook this on the grill, but my grill is, is gonna be filled up with my chicken, so I'm just gonna throw this in the oven while my chicken is cooking. So I smoothed it out pretty evenly. It's gonna bake at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. So now while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and heat up my grill and put my chicken on my grill. Now this is a skillet grill. It's from Blackstone and it's my favorite because the chicken will cook evenly and I love to cook vegetables and other things on it that sometimes will fall through the cracks but here they won't because it's just a large seasoned griddle. I'm letting them cook on each side for just a few minutes. This one I did about four minutes and then I went ahead and flipped them over. And they are looking perfect. They look so good right now. Now you want to cook these until they're about 165 degrees inside of the thickest part of the chicken. Now if you don't have a thermometer, go ahead and just cut open a thick part of a piece of chicken and make sure that all the juices run clear. You don't want any pink juice or pink meat. Alright, when they are all the way cooked through, go ahead and pull them off of the griddle or the grill and they're going to just sit for a few minutes before you cut them open. Now while the meat is sitting, I'm going to finish up with my zucchini. I'm putting a little Parmesan cheese on top. You don't have to, but I like that extra flavor. So I'm putting a little on top. I'll stick it back in the oven for about two minutes just so the cheese can melt. All right, now that everything's done, I made a little side salad from Costco. Those are my favorite. And then I'm just putting my zucchini on and then my chicken. It's a perfect meal. You have two vegetables in there. I also like to serve it with a fruit salad if you want some fruit in there too. So there you go, a healthy meal packed full of flavor and because of the hot sauce and the spices that you put on the zucchini, it has a little bit of kick to it, but I love 
a little bit of spicy. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Now, if you want to check out some of my other videos, on the top I have a grilled tri-tip with the seasoning that I use for the zucchini, and then down below I have delicious homemade barbecue sauce that everyone will love. All right, guys, I will see you next weekend.